Greetings from Talent Battle. Hello everyone, I am Rohit and welcome to our new video. In this video, we are going to cover the previously asked MCQ questions for Gen C Elevate profile. It will help you to prepare for the same. You can also join our masterclass training where we are going to cover all such kind of previously asked questions. Do join our social media handles to get the constant updates about off-campus and on-campus placements. Links to all these handles are already provided in the video description. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for instant notification about our videos. So as discussed in the MCQ section, we need to figure out the concepts. Some of the questions are fundamentally depending upon the concepts, some theoretically dependent on the concepts and then advanced data structures some questions are related to dynamic programming and greedy approaches as well i have tried to take some questions here at least after solving those questions you will get idea about the pattern and what level of difficulty the mcq question carries those are easy questions if your concepts are clear related to the subjects easily you can solve those questions so without wasting much time, let us jump to the actual questions. See the first question. This is pseudocode question. Consider the following pseudocode and what will be the output when the given pseudocode is executed. So pseudocode as we all know that it is a dummy code and that will help us to understand the programming logic only. So if you are able to figure out the flow of the program provided pseudocode then we can easily figure out the output. So in this pseudocode, they have developed a function here that is called as calculate simple interest and which is accepting three parameters of integer type that is integer p, integer n and integer r. In the body of the function, if you see one integer si variable is set, declared and set and the formula for that is p multiplied by n multiplied by r divided by 100 whatever the value of this will be provided to SI and then we are printing it with the message that is simple interest is the value of SI then end function so this is entirely my function body then my program will start from here and we are calling that function with three parameters 1000 2 and 5 now in pseudocode if you develop the flow of the program easily you can figure out the output now see when the function will get called my control will get transferred to the body and here the values which are provided from the calling function will be assigned to the parameters so p value will become 1000 value of n will become 2 and value of r will become 5 assignment then si variable is declared and that is calculated based on the formula so si is equals to P value that is 1000 multiply by n value that is 2 multiply by r value that is 5 divided by 100 right so if you take the multiplication of this you will get 10,000 divided by 100 so final answer will be 100 so value of si will be 100 and this message will be printed simple interest is si will be 100 so if you see the options provided option a is the correct answer so in this examination they will ask you such kind of pseudocode questions where logic of the program flow of the program will help you to solve these questions so answer a is correct answer moving to the next question this is theoretical and conceptual question the following options is a well-defined means out of provided following option who matches with this is a well-defined computational procedure that takes some of the values as input and produces some values or set of values as output so why i was saying it is conceptual because if you know the entities which are provided in the mcq questions you can figure out the definitions and then you will come to know the exact answer now see the answer for this question is option A because algorithm exactly resembles with this. 
if you see algorithms are nothing but the step by step procedure explanation of the process so it is nothing but a well defined computational procedure so this part is also matching and we can provide inputs and we can generate the outputs from the algorithms so it is exactly matching with the provided statement what about data structures data structures are nothing but the organizational entities so whether i am organizing the data in my linear format or non linear format that is called as data structure design and analysis is also related to the patterns so that's why the option a is the correct answer here which is matching with the provided statement that algorithms are nothing but the well defined computational procedures that takes some of the values as input and some of the values or set of values will be generated as output so option a is correct next question some of the questions will be related to code snippet also not specific to any language but here they have provided the question based on python language what is the output of the following code now you will not be getting any option to execute this code so based on the understanding you have to figure out the final output now if you see here the module copy has been imported the list a is there list within list again and b is equals to copy dot deep copy so the functionality of deep copy is utilized here so if you are aware about this functionality then easily you can solve this question after that modification of a values are done with provided indices and then we are printing b so first we will understand the functionality of deep copy and after that you will understand that whatever the modifications they have done here at step number this and this it is related to a list only but they are printing b means these modifications will not affect after performing deep copy to the b value right so only deep copy will be the final result now deep copy is nothing but a process in which we are copying the recursiveness means objects are getting copied to another case in recursive manner so one copy of object is copied to another object so if i take this expansion whatever is present in a everything is object so that will be transferred to b so same list will be generated 10 23 recursively all these things will be happening so my actual result to b will be this only this is what the deep copy functionality will do the object of a will get copied to b but after that we are modifying a here by 3 0 so due to this modification a is going to get modified see a of 3 0 a of 3 0 means you are targeting indices 3 and sub indices or uh, index within index that is 0 that will be changed to 95 and a of 1 index will be changed to 34 so if you take the original copy of a which is same 10 23 56 and then 78 so in dices 0 1 2 3 9 in 3 we have nested index of 0 so 3 nested index 0 95 so this 78 will get replaced with 95 and a of 1 is 34 so this 23 will get replaced with 34 so these modifications are happening on a actually but the deep copy functionality will copy the objects of a to b before performing these operations before this is na sequentially so b is exactly same like this and these modifications are affecting a value but we are not printing a we are printing b only so that's why the answer is same 10 23 56 78 and, and that is the option b here but suppose the question is like after printing b we are printing a or we are printing a without b then the answer will be something different that is 10 34 56 and 95 so you need to read the question carefully because see these two statements are definitely performing modifications but what we are printing we are printing b here so that can be the silly mistake that you will modify this and then according to that you will print the b no even you can try it for practice you just copy this part and run it you will get the same output okay so the answer b is the correct answer here which resembles the performance of deep copy function now this is also dbms related question but again conceptual a very basic question it was commit is an example of which of the following options now we know that this ddl dml tcl and dcl are nothing but the sql queries categorization 
DDL stands for data definition language means all the commands which are related to definition of the data comes under this then manipulation commands comes under DML transaction control commands comes under TCL and data control commands comes under DCL now the commit command comes where now based on the operation so if I say that I know that commit command is going to use to save all the transaction related changes so to save transaction related changes commit is used so here itself you get the idea it is based on the transaction controls right and even if I know about the TCL commands little bit concept understanding or theoretical knowledge about this command categorization you will get the idea that this TCL kind of commands are specifically used for controlling the transactions or managing the transactions managing or controlling the transactions this is the main purpose of TCS sorry TCL and this command is related to that also so that's why the answer is option C here apart from commit we have a rollback command also and we have save point all these commands are working on transaction control apart from commit commit is also there and apart from that rollback and save points are also examples of TCL right so answer is option number C and then the last question the minimum number of record movements required to merge three files that is F1 which is having 15 records F2 which is having 10 records and F3 which is having five records is what now this question is related to optimal merge pattern algorithm optimal merge pattern right related to DSC greedy algorithm now if you know this algorithm then easily you can solve this question so optimally we are trying to merge right by using some patterns so there are variations in the pattern so I will quickly give you the steps and then we can solve this question so the first step is whatever the number of files they have provided us for merging as per their record size or number of records what they have provided we have to sort them ascendingly sort them as per record size or numbers right and then we have to develop the pattern okay but the question is not about pattern question is about we need to figure out the minimum number of record movements this is main part so what I will do I will first sort and according to sort I have originally three files F1 which is having 15 records F2 which is having 10 records F3 which is having 5 records so if I sort it ascendingly I will get F3 first then F2 and then F1 which is having 5 records 10 records and 15 records respectively so if I organize them in a pattern like this 5 10 and 15 then I will merge the two files ascendingly so 5 and 10 will get merged addition to this will be 15 you can generate a tree like structure simple right and then remaining will be added here 15 and 15 will become 30 now my main file right this is f3 this is f2 and this is f1 all these are child nodes so basic formula related to this is if I want to calculate minimum number of record movements that is equals to sum of internal nodes sum of internal node nodes values I would say now we can figure out simply on this tree like structure if you see what which are internal nodes and which are leaf nodes so 5 10 15 are my leaf nodes so 15 and 30 are my internal nodes so 15 plus 30 that will give me 45 right if I generate the structure like this 5 10 15 so there are uh, optimal solutions we can figure out options are there if I generate this two, so this will give me 10 and 10 20 plus 5 25 and then I can take this so 5 and 25 you can have 30 again 
right so anyhow we can get the same answer so internal nodes will be 30 and 25 so the answer will be 30 plus 20 50 and 55 here right see so pattern to pattern it will be different but the minimum number of record movements can be considered to be 45 here right so optimal solution you can consider 45 so i hope you got the idea about the questionaries and what are the different kinds of concepts that you should prepare so the difficulty level is medium some cases are very easy only based on definition language conceptual understanding you can solve some questions and some questions are related to the algorithmic base pseudocode questions are also there and snippet questions are also there so i hope it was fruitful to you guys and thank you for your patient hearing all the best